What's up guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today I'm going to do the first ever YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do this Chrome typing in Photoshop. So what you will learn today is how to do this type of Chrome text. Uh, this has been really popular in the past year or two and I haven't seen any like updated tutorials for it. So I thought let's just explain this to everyone who has a bit of struggle on how to do it. So yeah, let's just start out with this empty uh, canvas in Photoshop. It doesn't matter what size, but I'm going to take a 3000 by 3000 because that's what I usually work in and make the background black. I do this with Command I. This effect works best on serif uh, type fonts. So I'm just going to type out Dread in this font that I am found on Adobe fonts. It's called Riven Uncial. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's just resize that and center it. So the first thing we're going to do is add a bevel emboss to the layer styles here at the bottom. And let's just reset this to default so you're going to see um, what the... So we're just going to pick the default settings and then we're going to change it up. So you want to have an inner bevel uh, smooth, the depth you want to change to 1000%. Uh, and then up the size until you think that it suits your... Uh, your text a bit. I'm gonna leave just a little bit open at the top here um, so yeah mine's gonna be at 25 pixels then the gloss contour I'm gonna change that to uh, more ring type um, I think it's called yeah let's just pick a double ring because then you can see like the actual chrome like edges coming out here when uh, the typing takes a bend and then up the contrast a little bit by uh, upping the shadow uh, you can't really see the highlights on here because the text is white and we're going to change that right now by uh, picking a gradient overlay. Let's just reset this to default again uh, to see where we're going to start from. Pick a gradient, I'll just pick a basic black one to white one and then reverse that so the black uh, part will be at the bottom. And then, then I'm just going to lower the opacity so the text will be just a little bit darker at the bottom. Um, to give it like a bit of more contrast and then you can see some more white accents through the bevel of emboss here. So the next thing you want to do is duplicate this text and then on the top one put the fill to zero. The text itself won't be there but all the layer styles will still be there. So the gradient overlay and the bevel and emboss will still be visible but the white from the actual text will, won't be. And then we're going to get a bottom text and we'll clear the layer style. So we just have one white text on the bottom here and then the one with the effects. And so now I'm just going to add some little texture that I made. I'll, I'll put this in the description. And I'm going to hold Alt or Option and make a clipping mask to the bottom text here. And you might not see it immediately, but if you look closely, you can see like the metal scratches on here. So now it kind of already looks like metal, but it's not really chrome yet. Um, so let's just group this, uh, these three layers. Just call it Dread. And what we're going to do is add a curves to this and just put it outside of uh, the group here in the layer panel and let's just clip it um, to the text so we won't be affecting the background here. So what the main thing of Chrome is, is uh, it has a lot of different reflections in it and we can replicate that by making the curve go up and down twice instead of uh, once. So what this basically means is this is the dark part and we can up that and then the text will go lighter as you see and this is the light part which will make it go lighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the shadows a lot brighter here and then I'm going to take another point and then just make like the m almost highlights here. We're going to make them darker, which gives that extra uh, like chrome like look if you uh, see the difference here. And then to give it more color, basically this is up to whatever you want. If you want to leave it black and white, just leave it like this. I recommend adding a gradient map and let's just clip that to the group as well. And then what you want to do is you're going to take this white part in the middle. You're going to drag it all the way to 50% and then just add another point here at the right and then make it black as well. So you're basically doing the same thing as you did in the curves, but this time we can just color it more. The lightest parts of the um, text will not also be dark. What I usually do, I learned this from Stefan Huelman. I'm not sure if I pronounce his name right, but I'll put his name in the description as well. Uh, just pick like 
three different colors maybe a li bit, little bit rainbow themed like this wait no let's just make the yellow and make the purple one a bit more blue and then just separate them a bit more and then bring in the black on the left and the black on the right uh, actually put the yellow, uh, yellow in the middle so the transition will be a bit more smooth bring these out a little bit better make this a bit more of a greenish yellow and then make the blue a little bit darker I think just play with these a little bit um, I'll just uh, in the original PSD file you can find the actual preset I used okay guys I wasn't really satisfied with, with the result so I just added this one in myself um, as you can see the contrast is a bit too harsh right now which is mainly caused I think by uh, the texture here so let's just uh, lower the opacity of the texture here make it to 10% so what we have now is kind of it has too mo many um, ref reflections uh, here in the bendings I think so let's just go to the bevel and emboss tab and make this just a regular um, linear uh, contour now this makes it a bit less detailed in a good way so yeah let's just group this now and as you can see here it kind of leaves these ugly pixely edges and uh, we're just gonna uh, make those go away with an inner shadow uh, layer style There you go. Uh, then we're going to just play around just a little bit with uh, the multiply here uh, to get the shadows a bit better. As you can see, if I lower the multiply, the text gets just a bit too dark, I think. So let's just up this just a little bit. Like this. Yeah. Cool. Uh, there we have it. You can leave it like this, or if you want to add some extra um, like shine on the edges here. Um, you can just download some uh, uh, some lens flare brushes. I'll just put a link in the description to that as well, and just add just some smaller um, yeah shines. Don't use the same like lens flare brush everywhere because otherwise it just does uh, look a bit fake. I think so. Let's just lower it. Add some more. Uh, add some more details in here. So yeah, as you can see, um, the chrome type is looking a bit better now. Um, if you would want this to be, for example, black and white, you can just use uh, use saturation and lower the saturation all the way down. Uh, or if you want to recolor it, just use the hue button here and you can get some pretty crazy effects as you can see right here. So I hope this tutorial has been a little bit helpful. And if you want to see more tutorials in the future, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Before you go, uh, I just want to say that um, I'm thinking of doing a Patreon where you can download all the PSDs from or my tutorials. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, just let me know on Instagram or in the comments down below, and um, yeah, I'll maybe I'll make it happen.